into you, baby. Even electricity can't compare to what I feel when I'm with you, oh baby. Giving up my ghost for you, now I'm see through. You give me a feeling, feeling so strong. I know you've been treating, treating yourself wrong. So let me care for you.
he cared for me until it was time. To my love, our big day is finally here. From this day forward, you will never walk alone. You are my rock, and I can't wait to be your wife. Darling, I want you to listen. I stayed up all night so I can get this thing right. And I don't think that anything missing. Cause a person like you. gives this man to be married, this woman to be married to this man? I do. We're going to ask at this time that you would escort him to your lovely daughter. <coughs> amen. Let the church say amen. amen. We are gathered here in the presence of God, family and friends to, to unite Philip and Kristen in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate and is therefore not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, advisedly, soberly, and with God's blessing. Today they will receive God's greatest gift, another person to share with, to grow with, to change with, be joyful with, and to stand with as one when trials and tribulations enter their lives. It is fitting, therefore, that we should on this occasion begin by asking for God's blessing on this marriage. Would you play with, pray with me? Heavenly Father, we gather to celebrate your gift of love and its presence among us. We rejoice that these two people have chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. We praise you, Lord, for the ways you have touched our lives with loving relationships such as Phil and Christians, and we give thanks for the special love and friendship you have put in their hearts. In your loving arms, we pray. Amen, and you may be seated. Amen. Marriage is a joyous occasion. It is connected in our thoughts with the charm of love, the warmth of home, and with all that is pleasant as one of the most important events of our lives. Its sacredness and unity is the most significant and binding covenant known in human relations. I would have this audience to know that Philip and Kristen, for several weeks, entered into premarital counseling of their own choosing with me. And in that time, we talked about the two elements of marriage that I deem are the most significant. The one is sacrifice, the willingness to give of one another for the benefit of one another. And then secondly was the calling. Not that they lord over one another, but that they would step up to the calling that God has placed for a husband and wife. It's at this time that I am pleased to enter into the official vows. And Philip and Christian, uh, Christian, if you are ready to assume the obligations and duties before God, as I have defined and as we have talked about and laughed in counseling, uh, will you please unite by holding each other's hands as we get ready to officially pledge the love that you have one for another. And Phil, would you repeat after me? I feel I feel take you Kristen take you Kristen to be my lawfully wedded wife to be my lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better for better and for worse and for worse for richer for richer for poor for poor in sickness in sickness and in health and in health to love to love 
and to cherish. And to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Now, Kristen, I would ask you to do the same and repeat after me. I, Kristen. I, Kristen. Take you, Bill. Take you, Phil. To be my husband. To be my husband. And to have. To have. And, and to hold. And to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poorer. For poorer. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. To cherish. To cherish. For as long. For as long. As we both shall live. As we both shall live. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Come on, everybody, and say amen one more time. Amen. Somewhere in the counseling journey, it was clear to me that Phil and Kristen wanted to express their own vows. And so I'm going to allow them to do this at, that time, at this time. And I'm going to ask that the groom, Phil, would lead in this charge as he expresses his vows to his lovely bride. He's getting his book out. Ain't my baby so fine, y'all? <laughs> I'm so thankful that God placed us in each other's hearts. His timing is always perfect in life, no matter where you are. Who would have thought that a lit brunch in, in Harlem, New York, would have led us to declaring our love for each other in front of God and all of our guests today? You know I got to say it. I'm so glad you wore that green dress that day. <laughs> With God, I feel like there's nothing that we can't do. I can't wait to have kids with you. I can't wait to ask, honey, who's cooking dinner, me or you? <laughs> Remember when you accidentally took all my keys to work? I realized then I couldn't even get mad at you. In all seriousness, this journey is going to be incredible, and I really can't wait. So Kristen, my love, before that journey begins, I want to make this promise to you. I promise my love will go deeper than any ocean blue. I promise to listen to your feelings and trust your judgments too. I promise to be there for you in good times or bad. I promise to love you unconditionally and cherish all the moments we have. I promise there's no limits to the things I will do. As long as you are happy, that is my dream come true. I promise in sickness, and in health, I'll be right by your side. I promise for richer or poorer, we will always be all right. <laughs> I promise to make you laugh and to make you smile. And as we grow older, your beauty will always make me say wow. I promise to protect you and be your safety zone I promise with my love, you will never feel alone. I promise to be the man you need me to be. And if I had to give it a timeline, it will be endlessly. I am eternally grateful for the day God crossed our paths. From the moment our eyes met, I knew that there was something extraordinary about you. Phil. You are the example of joy, light, and peace. You are power, gifted, and anointed. In your arms, I have found my heaven on earth. A place where I am understood, supported, protected, and cherished for who I really am. You have awakened my soul and brought me the peace and love that every woman dreams of. With you, my love, I am whole. 
until my last breath, I vow to be your light in times of darkness. I vow to always cover you in prayer, be the flower to your seed, be present and patient, support your wildest dreams, and create a home filled with love and laughter. I love you yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Wasn't that great? Come on, y'all can do better than that. Amen. And now at this time, we will exchange the rings. Here comes the hardware. You will now exchange the rings as a symbol of the lifelong commitment and, and abiding love, which you as husband and wife have promised to each other. And so, Phil, would you please place the ring on Kristen's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. Amen. Amen. We're going to ask that the bride, Kristen, would do the same thing. That you would place the ring on Phil's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And faithfulness. And faithfulness. Amen. Let me examine the rings here. <laughs> oh, God is with them already. They look beautiful. Pray with me, if you will. Eternal God. We ask that you would help Phil and Kristen to fulfill the promises they have made here today and to reflect on your steadfast love in their commitment to each other. Give them kindness and patience, affection and understanding, happiness and contentment. May their family and friends continue to support them in difficult days so that their love for each other may continue to grow as long as they both shall live. Amen. Amen. And now for one of my favorite parts, the declaration of marriage. For this has certainly been a tailor-made wedding and a tailor-made love if I've ever seen one. So Phil and Kristen, having witnessed your vows for marriage before God, and all who are assembled here today, that's your chance to scream and holler and let them know you're in the building. by the authority invested in me. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Phil, you may kiss the bride. Man. 
Hey, make some noise, boy. Let's do it. You make me happy. Once again, give it up for the bride's fans and the groom's fans. Make some noise. Let's do it. Stood right beside me. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Flower Girls. Give it up for Daphne Govan and Zuri Govan. Give it up for the Flower Girls. Make some noise in here. We have the Ring Bearer. Make some noise for Jason Jones Jr. Here we go. Come on. Jason Jones Jr. The Ring Bearer. Give it up for. Him. First off, we have Nadine Sylvester, escorted by her Dominique. Give it up for him. Let's do it. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Aisha Map escorted by Jason Jones, aka Money J. Let's do it. Here we go. Come on. Hey. We came to party tonight. It's a celebration. One time, give it up for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we have Melissa Adams escorted by Rodney Henry. Give it up for Melissa and Rodney. Here we go. Oh, they got props and all of that. Let's do it. Why not? Hey, 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 Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we got Tanisha Hoyt and Jamal Hill. Give it up, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we have Candace Dyson, escorted by Dwayne Terry. Give it up, boy. Oh, 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 Last but not least, we have Kiba. Give it up for Kiba Smith. The maid of honor. Let's do it. Make some noise for him. Come on. Give it up for Kiba Smith. Make some noise. The maid of honor. Sing it, come on. Whoa, let's do it. One time for Kiba, let's go. Oh, she got props for real. She brought the whistle. I need you to understand, this is a very special moment as we get ready to reintroduce the couple of the hour. Make some noise, make some noise. Couple of the day. Reason we are all here tonight. Looking good, smelling good, ready to party. I need y'all to give a warm welcome for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Taylor. Give it up for Let's go. Oh, oh, oh! Boy meets girl, girl perfect woman. Girl get the bus in front of the cops, come running up. Check the deuces, check the deuce, uh. Off the juice, boy the blue say, uh. I don't care if we on the run, baby, long as I'm next to you. Ballad. 
This time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite all the beautiful couples that's out there to come and join them on the dance floor and share this special moment. All the couples out there, if you brought your lovely lady, come and share this moment of love, all right? Some noise for him. make some noise. I know it's hard to resist. Big round of applause for the bride and her dad. Beautiful moment, beautiful moment. Oh, 
such a beautiful moment. We thank you for the day that you have given us. The ecclesiastical writer says there's a time for everything. This is a time to rejoice. We're thankful that those two have come together under God's covenant, which is marriage, which he instituted and which will always be. Thank you, merciful Father, for all those within the household this evening. Bless each and every one that is within the sound of my voice. We pray, O oh, merciful Father, that you'll bless the hands that prepared the food for the nourishment of our bodies. In Jesus' name we want to pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, I'm going to do my best not to cry. Don't cry. You're going to make me cry. Okay. Okay, so for those who don't know me, I am the bride's sister and one of her maids of honor. Um, if you know a little bit about my family, then you know that there are five of us Dyson children, or not anymore, but five children, uh, but only two girls. And I'm so thankful for that because I've always had a built-in best friend before I even knew what that meant. Now, Kristen is seven years my senior, so as you can imagine, there were times that I was more like the annoying little sister, um, but that never stopped me from admiring her in all ways. Some of you know this story, so I'll keep it brief. But basically, we went shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond, and this was some years ago, and I, as that annoying little sister, thought it would be funny to mess with Kristen about her curves. Really, I just kept bumping into her to make fun of her. And she got tired of my shenanigans. So you guessed it, she hit me with one of these. And I went flying into a rack of brooms. <laughs> Naturally, I cried because I was super embarrassed. And of course, everyone was laughing. Um, but I will say that I don't think I ever messed with her about that again. One of our core memories that I don't think I'll ever forget. There are so many other memories that come to mind when I think back, and I don't know what my life or childhood would have been like without her, and I'm so glad that I never had to find out. Kristen and Marcus would come over and spend weekends with us, and when my parents actually gave me the heads up, I'd run and hide behind furniture um, because I was too excited to spend time with them. And even when they didn't give us the heads up, and they would show up and they would see me, I would see them, I would still go and run behind furniture giggling because I was so excited to spend time with them. Kristen was also the best babysitter, from making up dances to building construction paper cities with me. She always made sure that we had the most fun. And as we both got older, Kristen was always a person I knew I could come to with anything and everything. She made sure that that was understood from probably the youngest age possible. And now she's the godmother to my son, and it warms my heart to see my baby and the love that he has for his TT and the love that she has for him. She's often a voice of reason, one of my biggest supporters, and probably the person I vent to the most. Sorry. I love you, sister, and I'm so incredibly thankful for you. Well, if you know Kristen, then you know that she's fierce about her loved ones. She's strong, she's loving, she's compassionate, fun, and unapologetically her authentic self. And so many of us in this room today love her for those reasons, among many more. Phil, brother-in-law, I just want to thank you for loving my sister and protecting her. She can be a tough shell to crack, but you have truly changed her and it's honestly for the better. I'm happy to see, I'm so happy for the both of you, and I know that if you continue to love each other, put one another first, remember your vows, and continue to fight for your marriage, you'll go the long haul. So because we have a few more speeches to go, now I'm done, y'all, all right, all right? And more happy tears to go, I'll just close out by saying that, again, I love you both, um, and I can't wait to see where life takes you. So let's raise our glasses to the tailors, please. Cheers to the newlyweds. Love y'all. Hello, hello. <clears throat> good evening, good, good evening, everyone. Yes, sir, you already know, Phil. First, I'd like to start by thanking everyone for making it here today as we celebrate the union of Phil and Kristen. And I hope you're enjoying this very special day so far. For those who don't know me, my name is Jamal Hilliard, 
when it feels good friends and really your brother from another at this stage of life. But I'm truly blessed to be standing here today as one of his best men. I can honestly say I've never been asked to be a best man before. But when I was asked by Phil, I was honored. And for me, that cemented everything I already knew about our friendship. I've known Phil since about 1999, 2000. So that's about 23 years at this stage. We met sophomore year in high school when Phil transferred schools to come to Roselle Catholic. And early we found we shared the same love for the game of basketball and that initially brought us together. From there, the friendship really grew over the next two years or so. I met and became part of the family. As you know, Phil comes from a beautiful family. Mr. and Mrs. Taylor, you've done an amazing job. Being an example, instilling the qualities, morals, and values in him, making him the person he is today. Kristen, you are in good hands. But from all the basketball games and trips, long car rides down the shore, prom weekends, space tournaments, and sneaking into the club underage, <laughs> just doing everything everywhere, throughout college to even now, balancing the hustle and bustle of everyday life. We have remained close and I'm forever grateful of that. Now, a while back we were talking and we were talking about Kristen. He was like, Jamal, she's the one. I'm gonna marry her. And I was like, oh yeah. Because we know Phil can talk. <laughs> but Phil knew what he wanted, and fast forward the time, and we're here. I'm so happy that you two have found each other and have decided to embark on his journey of life together. There will be ups and downs, but remember to lean on each other and your support systems, and you'll get through them. You have all of us here for that. I wish you the best today and every day for the rest of your life, the rest of this life. If you need me, I'm here. I'm one call away, brother. I love you both. Thankful. Hi, everyone. So as he just said, my name is Kiba. For those of you who do not know me, I am Kristen's other maid of honor. I have known Kristen since we were 10 years old. So technically, I'm like a sister from another mother. Um, so I'm going to start things off. I'm going to keep it nice, cute, and short. I know we're ready to celebrate. We've already heard three speeches. So the day Kristen met Phil, we were celebrating her birthday. Yes. She wanted to cancel, but I convinced her that she needed to celebrate herself. And boy, did we have a time. I was the designated driver because who's gonna let their friend drive intoxicated on their birthday? And it was time to go. I pulled the car up and Kristen was not ready. I said to her, Kristen, I'm the designated driver. I bought about four of us, you have to get in the car. She wasn't ready. Kristen, what am I gonna tell Myrna? How are you getting home? Kristen said to me, I'm going to take an Uber. I said, Kristen, an Uber from New York City, Harlem, don't worry about it, I'm gonna get home. What she doesn't know is that the only reason I let her stay, because I'm a great friend, is because we had another friend there that day. She's in here today, Lauren. So I know Lauren is just as much as a pit bull as I am about Kristen, and she would not let anything happen to her. So I said, okay, text me when you get home. I left. Luckily, yeah, I know you don't remember Lauren. <clears throat> Luckily, Kristen did stay because she met Phil. All right, all right, all right, all right, let me finish. So the moral essentially of my story is don't always listen to your best friend because she might block you from being the love of your life. But <laughs> Kristen, you found a love that makes you feel whole and I'm honored to be a part of your big day. 
I wish you nothing but the best as you embark on this new journey. Everyone, please raise your glass as we congratulate the new husband and wife. My name, my name, Dwayne, aka Jelly. Um, I was gonna be my old self, but give it up to Phil friends back there, VSU. A lot of them corny dudes back there sitting back there. Um, don't pay attention to them, bro. This is what they. Security, escort them out. <laughs> they want my speech to be long. I didn't really want it to be long, no homo. But um, this is me, I'm sorry. Phil, Chris, I love you. Try not to get too emotional. It's kind of like, I've been with him for a while, since we was young. You know, he, he was that, uh, that brother that was always hurt on the football field, like, but always won like the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> like, how he get Heisman and he broke his leg? <laughs> that was Phil. Um, went to Virginia State, moms and pops, they helped me out, pick my classes. Um, I always felt as though I had to look over him but I didn't have to because he was the same age as me. Uh, just like the rest of them in the background, the loud ones. Um, chill out. Chill out, big bro. But I wouldn't be more happy uh, to hand him over to you. Me and you have conversations and you know how he gets on my nerves. Nerves. When it's him, it's okay. But when it's somebody else, he's going to rush you. Yo, Smack, we got to go. I'm late already. We're late already, so what are we rushing for? <laughs> Yo, come outside. I'm in front of your crib. I come outside. My crib feels not there. Do y'all know where Phil live at? Phil lives one block away from me. <laughs> but he rushes me. My road dog, uh, up and down 95, Pop Warner, college. He been there for me when pretty much nobody was there for me. Just like someone in the back was there and a couple of other people that's in the audience. They kind of, they my brothers. You see how wild they are? Chill out, I got the mic. <laughs> but nah, Chris, back to you. I'm happy you have him. I'm happy he has you, so he can leave me alone. <laughs> he can leave me alone. If you call my phone, I will pick up on the second call, not the first one, because I know it's about him. But I'm happy that everybody came out. I want to say thank you from... If you know Phil, you know me. Wherever you've seen Phil, you've seen me, vice versa. So I want to take the time out and say thank y'all for coming out for my brothers and sister. Special day. And that's pretty much what I got to say. I love y'all. I love you. I thought I was going to cry, right? <laughs> Go to the back and tear up a little bit. Thank y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. Such a beautiful moment.
some babies out of these two, make some noise. Let's do it. Big round of applause, man. Get a group some love. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Same rules apply, fellas. Don't let it touch the floor. Don't let it touch the floor. Oh, come on. Do over, we're gonna do that over. We're gonna do that over, man. We're gonna do that over. Throw it up and back, all right? Up and back, all right? Let's do it. Slingshot that joint. Cheers. We got one, we got one. They scared, they scared. All right, we got somebody box, got it. All right, let's do it. Same rules apply, no hands. Come a little way, your body talk. Come a little closer, just like that. Keep on talking, girl, you got me wanting to go. Deeper than you'll ever know. Wanting to feel the way you flow. Oh, you got that look up in your eyes. What we about to do ain't no surprise. Everybody, tell them to go a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. Why not? A little higher. Big round of applause, man. Make some noise for them. Make some noise. 